So, I have just received a package from Noisy Hammer. Yes, this is a, what well, if I, well, if what I've got in there is what I ordered, yeah, a custom guitar cabinet, then I'm pretty excited about it. So, let's get this sorted. Well, let's get it open. Okay. This is going to be a toughie. So how do we do this one out? Okay, it's well packaged in there. So I'm going to... Hey, that works. Okay, I just skipped ahead to this part because single-handedly unpackaging this thing with all the cardboard in the way. So I thought I'd get the cardboard in the way and it's all covered up here, so won't ruin the surprise. So I found a little goodie bag in here. So a couple of, yeah, leaflets to promote Noisy Hammer. So that's the company if you, you're interested. See, give it a good look. Yep, sponsored their video there. <laughs> Yeah, a few business cards and a couple of pick shaped brooches which they put up so it's gave me a little goodie bag. Hmm, a couple of stickers I think. Oh and a speaker cable, that's gonna be important. And a little note to Jim, thank you from all the team at Noisy Hammer HQ. Would like to say a huge thank you for your audit. Your support of our independent business is mega appreciated and we hope you enjoy your handmade purchase. If you have a moment, we would love it if you could give us a review of our Google business page. Well, I'm giving you a little review here. So, Noisy Hammer team, thank you. Have fun with the dragon cabinet, Ryan. <laughs> okay, this is gonna, there's gonna be a bit of context with that in a minute. So meanwhile, just make sure Okay, so sort of feel okay. That look feels like the grill cloth side, so that's the least risky way of cutting into it. Oh my god, how wow, this thing's well packaged. I wonder if <laughs> we're gonna keep um, oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. <laughs> Ah, shit. Try not to... Yeah, try not to slash the toe legs. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at that! That badge here. Oh, it's like, I think it was walnut you said it would be. So we got the C90 and the V30. Yep, I requested for a speaker cabinet combination so I can have two different cabinets or a combo. And they called it the Hammered Dragon, which wasn't my idea, but it made me laugh, so. And my God, this feels, the build quality is like, that looks to me, that's on par with knocking it. Oh my God. I mean, the build quality here is outstanding. Okay, I've got that. So I might have to turn it round for the big reveal. Oh my God, I'm nervous. Should I go we, two, one? bit risky, I know. <laughs> do not try this at home, and if I do, it's my own fault. Oh, shit. Oh my, this artwork. Oh my God. <laughs> it looks absolutely fantastic. So we have got the Hammer Dragon cabinet, two by 12 vertical. Oh, the badge there, it's almost 
metallic looking. Oh my God, that works so well. So here it is, my hammered dragon cabinet. So, well, well, it's called that. Well, well, I wanted the dragon art on there, but we'll get to that in a minute. But they called it the hammered dragon because they like because Noisy Hammer like to name their give their cabinets a name, give their products a name, so they can well shows how much love they put into their work. So originally, I was going to get a Mesa Boogie cabinet from my local music shop. So there was one on display. So I thought, I said, oh, can I try that please? And they're like, sure. So I played it and liked the sound and, and I was about to buy it when they said, uh, sorry, it's not for sale. And I'm like, wait, it didn't say it wasn't for sale. It was like, oh, it's a display model only. So this was in March, bear in mind. And they said, oh, I won't, they won't have any Mesa Boogie cabinets in until November. And I'm like, I'm thinking, well, if it's not available until then, what the hell was it doing on display if it wasn't for sale? Anyway, I thought it was rubbish customer service. So I looked online to see if there was any alternatives that could maybe fulfill my needs and... I thought, well, there wasn't really. So I found Noisy Hammer online, which happens to be quite close to where my mum lives. So I thought, oh, give that a try. Well, oh, maybe when I visit my mum, I could pop in, which I did at one point. So I requested that it would be kind of Mesa Boogie styled and give it, um, yeah, yeah, try and source up Mesa Boogie speakers because they, Mesa Boogie have got a Road King cabinet, which is two isolated chambers within this. It's a 212, so with two isolated chambers, one chamber is open back and one is closed back. So it's got a Vintage 30 and their C90, both made by Celestian. So I wanted something similar, but vertical. So the top speaker is the, is the C90. Well, we'll get into that, that the naming in a minute and the Vintage 30. So that is complete, it's all open, it's all closed back, but because the C90 isn't really suitable for the closed back stuff, so it's either open back or front ported. And the front ported, I thought, well, more, makes the sound a bit more directional, so it wouldn't piss my neighbors off so much. So it's front ported and the little holes there, I can just feel them there. And yeah, I mean, this thing is built really well. And I couldn't be happier with it. I mean, I mean, Ryan, the owner, he actually went through the trouble to, yeah, call Celestia and say, oh, we, can we get hold of a C90 speaker? And they told him, oh, well, those C90s, they're literally just classic lead 80s that, are, that are, they just put the stickers on. And they were like, oh, OK. We'll do it. So that's technically a classic lead 80 in there, as far as I've been told, which is fine by me. And I tried it and it sounds great. And I won't demo it for this video because, because one, don't, you want to test it to its full potential for, and also it's going to be different. It's going to be, it's not, it's a one-off speaker. So, and also my taste in music as well. So yeah, like when you when you look online to find a yeah to find a dem a demo of a demo of some music equipment, it's not going to be your taste in music. Well, half the time. So we'll just go into the technical stuff. So anyway, I suppose you want to know what the art's about. Well, what I wanted was kind of like a fake band mascot, I suppose. Yeah. So I wanted it to look kind of inspired by Falcor from The NeverEnding Story. I don't know if you can see the resemblance here. So I wanted to be inspired by, but not plagiarise, that makes sense. So like, like, like a metal head dragon. So I don't know what you've got here. I mean, you, we've got the spikes on the jacket, you know, with the spikes on the head. So it kind of blends it up and 
a flying V guitar. I see what they did there. Which I was told was a complete coincidence. And the artwork, I originally wanted to be kind of like a crudely drawn punk rock. Kind of, kind of like a sketch in a teenager's school book or something. So I gave those guidelines to their artist and they gave me this. Which was very different to my, my vision. But they bettered it. In fact, it kind of reminds me of the art style of... Well, the, the album cover of The Blackening, you know, the album by Machine Head. And actually, looking closely, it actually looks like, you know, these black and white comic books, like, you know, The Walking Dead and Sin City and stuff like that. And it gives that more metal kind of image. Now, the original one I got had white eyes, but to me it kind of looked a bit Evil Dead. So I thought, well, what if that had black eyes? It would look, they kind of look like sunglasses, so it's got the kind of stereotypical rock star so with black eyes it almost looks like sunglasses or skull eyes depending on how you look at it i mean what do you think but yeah it was an ambiguous image like that and i thought okay what if it was black so all they changed was the black eyes and here we are so yeah definitely give noisy hammer a call if you want well well if you want if you want a good cab then well let me put it this way yeah, Mesa Boogie, they might be able to deliver a good cab that's built like a tank, but they won't be able to make make you something that's exactly to your specs, which Ryan and his team can do at Noisy Hammer. So yeah, I wholeheartedly recommend them. Cheers.